Hi everybody, big news in the healthcare world today. The Biden administration rescinded the approval that the Trump administration granted to Texas for a renewal of uncompensated health care. As you can already tell, we're going to go a little bit into the weeds on health care today. This is significant because Texas had secured a 10-year funding stream for uncompensated care. We didn't even ask for 10 years. We asked for five, but Trump gave us 10. It was an extraordinary development. But the thing is, Texas rushed it through. They skipped the rules, the rules that require a public notice and a public comment period. So what's happened really shouldn't be surprising. The Center for Medicaid Services looked at this, at this application, looked at the process and said, hey, wait a minute, you didn't follow the rules. You gotta do this over. That's not what you're going to hear out there and from a lot of sources. You're going to hear that the Biden administration just took money away from our rural hospitals. No, it didn't. It didn't take money away from everybody. It says go back and redo the process and this time get input from the people of the state of Texas. And we will help you. The CMS has assured us the Biden administration is bringing billions of dollars to Texas, but we got to follow the rules. We got to have public comment because we all get a say in what happens. At the same time, we're taking kind of a backwards approach to health care here. We are relying almost exclusively on getting money from the federal government to compensate healthcare providers for providing care to people who don't have insurance. What's a better way to take care of this? Yes, we'll keep getting that money for uncompensated care, but the better way is to try to reduce the number of people who don't have insurance. Then you have less uncompensated care. How can we do that? You've heard me talk about this before, folks. Medicaid expansion. We could bring in many billions of dollars, and the same Biden administration that just rejected our application because we didn't follow the rules, this same administration has just offered us four billion additional dollars in addition to all the other economic benefits we've been talking about. Four billion more dollars if we expand Medicaid. Folks, this is a no-brainer. We have got to reduce the number of uninsured at the same time as we go get this renewal of the uncompensated care funding. We can do this right. Don't believe anything else you hear because that's the truth, folks.